many new moms, it might be considered the ultimate bonding experience with their baby. We're talking about breastfeeding. And here to discuss the benefits of breastfeeding and help us with some tips are two experts, Amanda Crusoe of the Boppy Company and Barbara Lyons, a registered nurse and lactation consultant. Good morning to both of you. Hi, nice to meet you. All right, I'm going back in time because I did. I breastfed and I was, I loved it. And you did too. And so did you, right, Barbara? Yeah. Talk about the experience. Well, I have three kids. I have a 12-year-old, an 11-year-old, and now almost a three-year-old. So all of them? All of them. Big fan then? Big fan. I really encourage breastfeeding and the common denominator, it's amazing, but Boppy's been around for 27 years and all three kids had a Boppy to support them. Oh my gosh, what about you, Barbara? I have a 21-year-old and a 17-year-old and they were both breastfed. I was very much proactive with breastfeeding and breastfed them for a long time, just short of college. And you know, wow, <laughs> don't say that. And you know, I asked my mom when I, when, I, when I had my girls and I said, did you breastfeed me? She was like, no, it wasn't common for us to do that way back. But today, Amanda, it's really becoming common. It's increasing, it's on the rise. Why do you think that's happening? I think because there's so much information out there. Uh -huh. um, the healthcare professionals are doing a great job really educating mom before she gets to the hospital the government's on board and then certainly you know companies like us who are in the industry we really try to educate mom and empower them to know that breastfeeding is out there and they should look at that as a choice and in miami i went to a specialist and she encouraged me talked to me because i was on the fence and i was so glad i did so you see that happening too i do and most moms decide while they're still pregnant whether they're going to breastfeed or not so it's really important that we get to them early so that they choose to do that their formula can never compete with breast milk. Breast milk has everything in it that a baby could possibly need and changes over the lifetime of breastfeeding. So would you say that breastfeeding comes naturally for new moms or is it more word of mouth, talking to friends and then doing it? Or is it something that's just, you know, you just, you're born to do? You really need to have support, especially a supportive partner, maybe supportive mom helps. Um, it's a lot of work, it and is. so the more support you have in your life, the better you will be at doing it. Yeah, because a lot of my friends would say, well, you know, I could just use the bottle and it was easier. And it does take work, but I think it's worth it. It is. And I think, um, you know, good advice that I was given was just to really get the education, understand what your breastfeeding goals are, and then get the right support tools. So do your research, talk to other moms. It's such an organic word of mouth type of uh, life-changing moment in your life. So get the experts around you, but also get your, the support of your family and get the right tools. And speaking of moms, we've got a beautiful mom and her baby boy. Come on in, Alexandra Lewis. And look at, oh, he fell asleep. This is four month old James. Oh my gosh, he's so cute and he's sleeping. Thank you, yeah. So are, is this your first? No, he's my third. He's your third? Yes. How old are the first two? They are 13 and 11. Okay, and did yeah. you breastfeed the first two? You know, I, I didn't and I regret that, but um, I always said if I had another baby, I would definitely breastfeed and he's my miracle. So, so what made you change your mind? Because we were talking about it and sometimes women need to get educated or they talk to people. What well, made you? Well, it's a, it's a personal decision for me. I mean, I have two children that both of them have disabilities. So for me personally, you know, I didn't, I wasn't, I think I was just too young, I think, um, to have the mindset of breastfeeding and now, as a mother, a more mature woman, and you know, I just wanted to give him the best chance that he could, and so I chose to breastfeed. And how has that experience been? Bonding, nice. I've I have a bond with him that is Aww. amazing, and he, you know, I it is. It's a very special thing. I didn't. I felt very close with my two children, but with him, you know, there's something very special there. And we have some video of you earlier in the day yeah. today with your boppy pillow yeah. and your nursing. James, I want to show our viewers. Sure. Now, you're using the pillow here to nurse, right? Well, basically, it just helps support him, you know, and, and it, it, you know, he, they can get a little heavy. Uh huh. So. Just, I had one too, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Amanda, it's not just for nursing. You can use it for several things like uh, tummy time. I think we're going to show that here where she's doing. Talk to me about other uses. Yeah, it's very versatile. So, it's, you know, starts with baby when they're breastfeeding, it puts mom in the ergonomic proper position. Then we move to 
uh, propping, which is at three months, just a nice place to put baby, and then certainly tummy time, which they do recommend the American Academy of Pediatrics to get that tummy time, get those muscles going. And then, of course, when they grow older, when they're starting to sit up, it's great to have a nice soft place to land and help baby sit up. And I know Bobby has a really great list of 25 tips for moms. That's right. We have it on our website, on our blog. It's at boppy.com. And you know, Barbara, I want to bring you in because I think it's really important that women think about this, educate themselves, and, and learn maybe when is the time to get educated on this. The time to get educated is actually before the baby comes. That's right. So instead of worrying about how the baby's going to come out, the baby's going to come out one way or another, the best thing to do is to take a breastfeeding class and give yourself some confidence going in because once you have the baby, then you kind of know what to do and it makes it a lot easier for mommy and baby. Yes. With the boppy pillow. <laughs> once again, the website for our mommies to be or maybe someone now who found out she's pregnant is uh, boppy.com. All right, so once again, the website is boppy.com and of course you can also look at our website, thebalancingact.com. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.